Well, joining us now, Kumari uh, Shebulal, the founder of Sarojini Damodaran Foundation. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Shebulal, for being with us. Thank you for being a part of this campaign. Now, you are, of course, the founder of Sarojini uh, Damodaran, um, and your philanthropic work is in areas including healthcare, organic farming, um, social welfare. But you've also chosen education and an area as an area of specific focus. Um, why? Why? How did you get into this? Why is education so important? in the context of what you do? My mother was uh, illiterate, but she has seen, uh, you know, people who come to the village as uh, doctors or, um, you know, doctors in that uh, primary health center or the teachers in the uh, school. But she said the life of uh, those people, they are much better than the uh, life in the, um, uh, in the village. So she thought her children also should get education and uh, she insisted that we will go to school and uh, get the education. Those times, what happened was uh, during the harvest time or uh, any of those uh, you know, agriculture time, none of the children will be in the school. So they all wanted to work in the field and uh, you know, support the family. Right. But uh, my parents insisted that I should get a good education and uh, uh, you know, get a better life. So that is the uh, one of the reasons that we choose uh, education as um, uh, our focus point. And because of the education, uh, we are here right now. Mrs. Shibulal, if you had to explain to people watching and including me, why is it so crucial for all of us to support the cause of ensuring that education is not disrupted for an entire generation. How would you describe it? What would you say? Yes, actually, I can give an example. Yesterday, I, I received a call from uh, my uh, school. And we have a hostel there. That hostel is uh, for the underprivileged children. Uh, they are studying in the school. Because if they are in, the, uh, in their houses, they will not be able to study. So yesterday night I got a call from uh, Colonel Menon, who is the director of my Angkor program, the hostel program. He said the government has ordered that all the chicken has to go home. And we work so hard to, um, you know, uh, uh, with these children to make up, make up their studies and uh, their emotional and uh, uh, all the well-being. But now all of them have to go back. It is really hard, uh, you know, so because once they go home, they don't have any of the, they don't even, they will not even have food. They will not be able to study uh, properly how we were doing there. So there is a lot of children are struggling like that. So you know, people like us has to support these children. Only then they can get an improved life and uh, you know get uh, get a better life.